this is Nibiru Watcher. It is August 6, 2017. And what I'm going to show you today is something that's just, I'm going to say, record breaking. So just hold on your hats, take a deep breath, and behold what we're about to see. So I'm going to say before we see this, but you're going to have some questions. I'm going to treat some of you who have never seen the lens array. For those who have never seen it, I have to keep showing this. This is the lens array. These ultra-thin lenses that pull the planetary systems that are coming at us out of focus and create projections and orbs in the sky like we see in this time-lapse video. I have all over the video of the fake sun and the lens array. We can see these interlocking lenses that are over Australia in a time-lapse video and then I've got the spinning Fresnel lens part of the lens array so I just got a quick compilation here I'm gonna fast forward through this I got a more impressive video if you go to the original links or watch the previous video before this so we have the spinning cube that's the pictures of the Sun I'm just racing through this. We've got a time-lapse video of the spinning cube over Australia. We've got the rotating, sorry, skip that, for the tunnel of light, which I believe is part of the sun simulator. We can even see this black dot from a dash cam from another user subscriber. I'm sorry, I kind of fast forwarding it because many are going to be bored with this because you've already seen this in my last video. Again, this morphine orb of light, which is a projection of the sun. Notice in these videos, in the original video, the sun, you can see it right here. These are UFOs, call them, they're morphing and changing. It, it's pretty very compelling. Just go back and watch my last video. So without any further waiting, let's go right into it. Again, in my previous video that I had with stunning pictures of the lens array, we can see it folding, distorting, and manipulating space as it bends light around the sun. We can see these four concentric lenses and with the fake sun behind it bending in these planets. And in my previous videos, these black shadowy orbs, which are basic holograms. In this particular instance, this shadow is being cast on the water. Not all the dark shadows will be reflected. It depends what direction the this source of light is coming from. You can't always get it. It's not like light. In this one you do though, you will find it. Again, in my other videos, I've showed the four-legged plasma spatter and this thing is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Today, I've got vindication because it is bigger yet. So, let's look at, in this video, picture Okay, so most of these are over in Europe and most of them are facing the north and northwest. And this, I want you to focus your eyes on this circular dot right here. Let's do the time lapse on that because this is all happening at the same time. Please notice the time. We got August 7th at 1.40 in the morning. And with this lens array in place, pulling the light out of focus, generating fake light in front of the clouds, creating holograms and this is occurring on four different cameras at the same time unfortunately I was not able to get it on more than that but I want you I'm gonna save it for the best shot where we see this shadow at the same time we've got this plasma spider at the same time now I'm joking right plasma spider but let's watch. Why is it always in the northwest sky with the two big legs pointing, <laughs> pointing down? Right? Still want to call that a spider? Watch how big it gets. Real big. Okay. 
So we're going to go through the time lapse. You can see it disappear there at 1.30 in the morning. And keep in mind, I've got this on three other cameras. We're going to watch this thing move. We're going to watch it get bigger, stay still, and then disappear. Now keep in mind, this planet is the fastest moving planet around Nemesis. It has a highly eccentric orbit. It's like a comet. The planet Nemesis is tracking with the moon nearly the same velocity. That's why it almost appears to be in still in sky as it approaches. And then we go back to this camera. We're going to see the same object at the same time frame disappear, reappear. Again, the sixth, 2400 hours. Watch this. It's going to stay in the sky at the same time. I don't see eight legs on that spider. Let's watch. Keep your eyes right there. See it? Has the same movements. Remember, we live in an electric universe. This thing's moving fast. And last but not least, what you've all been waiting for, behold, this object. Where is this light coming from? I've got the light camera settings up here for your enjoyment. <laughs> Let's just watch the craziness. This has never been bigger ever before. You can go back in this camera's history. You're never going to find a dot this big. In fact, I think a day's coming it'll be completely red on this camera. So let's watch the frames. We're on frame at a time. Take a deep breath. Watch how big it gets. Yeah. That's some crazy stuff there. And I've had saved these as independent pictures so you can see the whole thing. They got crapped off because of this artwork. Don't be disappointed because it's coming. I'm going to show you one picture at a time. Which I'm just showing the time lapse at the same time. This is all during the same time. You saw them on the other four cameras in the same northwest direction. So here we go. So this is what it looked like in the first film when it first appeared. Let's see if we can get them in the right sequence. We can see the appearance of the gas giant with the plasma cloud getting bigger in the sky. It is getting bigger, and I have a feeling it's only getting bigger yet, and we will catch it on more cameras. Unfortunately, it was not. They were too cloudy in the other cameras. What are the odds? They're all facing the northwest. Look at that. Yeah, it's a hologram in a sense, because it's projecting the light. This technology can't filter out the red light. Not sure why. Perhaps it wasn't designed. It's me, perhaps it's going around the lens because it can't bend around it any longer. Again, and then here is the night view as this thing gets back. And then we go back in time. We can see in this video on a YouTube subscriber, I will show you the channel was capturing the lens array again. And I'll leave a link in the description from a YouTube subscriber that we can see one of the lenses. This is from a different camera. We can see it starting to form the lens and the lens array. If you've got pictures like this in your backyard, please at least tell me what state you live in. Because I'm curious about the latitude that we're picking this up on. And I believe when we get this, notice we see in this, the beginning of one of the lens puddles. I think we get the lens puddle effect because there's something digital about this unnatural light that comes through, once it passes through this light. And show you the direction. This is the camera. Translate to English. You can see it's face, this one's face in the Northwest. This camera, Wolfgang. is facing the west. That's about right since it's further down this way. And then we've got this camera also, <coughs> excuse me. And this one's facing the northwest. And what do you want to bet that this is the same thing? So let's go back and look at that again. Pretty stunning lens work. But if you want to think that's crank camera trickery, I don't think so. 
I'll leave links in the description. You can check this out. And sometimes you're going to get the shadows on the water. Not every time. But I did in some of my videos. Just go back and watch them. So I've had in my other videos that this big red blob is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And folks, it ain't getting bigger than that. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. You think you, someone else has a better explanation for that? I know it's Planet X. Don't let me lie to you. This thing is folding. And it's letting this light penetrate. Yeah. And we're seeing some very bizarre stuff. And this guy. Some of this can be seen in the naked eye, and some cannot. This may be in the infrared spectrum. This was the picture. Last camera shot before it faded out. We'll go back just one more shot, and then we're going to get this. Okay. Darkness in the sky. Fake skies. Yeah. Look how light up that is, too, right? Five o'clock in the morning. I just think that's a little unusual. I show some other videos. When this thing appears, it starts flashing light in the infrared spectrum and lights up the whole camera like the daylight sky. And look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. There you go. Anyways, please copy, like, and share this video. And look continually on at least a weekly basis for my videos because people have been unsubbing even if they check the notification on these things. What does that mean? Well, you can actually check for notifications on these videos. You just go to the, my home channel. You click on here. Actually, I'm seeing it in my view, but they'll see click for notifications. Let's see how I put this up. I'll show you how to do this. All right, see the little bell here? You click on this, and it'll say subscribe. I can't show you under my own video. I have to do it somewhere else's video. And you click, yes, I want to subscribe. And they've even unchecked that. So don't even trust in that system. That's what they do to truthers. So if I'm telling you a lie, why are they doing this to me? Well, have a blessed day. See you at the Lord's Supper.